when you go to a shopping mall or a nursery and you're looking for pepper plants you never ever see pepper plants that are over a couple of months old especially not over a couple of years old it doesn't happen they're not efficient um, keeping them alive for over six months in the period of uh, the winter um, yeah it's a lot of work it's a lot of fertilizer it's a lot of water it's a lot of time without any benefits and the biggest problem with keeping plants alive especially peppers and tomatoes during the winter time you need to keep them warm but you need to prune them down so every bug every fungus every bacteria that's in the potting soil especially when it's say 16 17 maybe 18 degrees celsius indoors it's gonna get released out of the soil in your living space maybe with some other plants maybe with some other designer plants and it's gonna create havoc so we do not recommend overwintering or winterizing pepper plants but Edwin, I know for a fact that I have a greenhouse or a tiny house specific for a garden and when I place those plants indoors there shouldn't be a problem because it's not inside the house and you're absolutely wrong. The reason why people are putting it in a greenhouse is to grow plants not winterize them and when you winterize pepper or tomato plants and the bacteria and funguses get released in a greenhouse it's gonna spread everywhere it's gonna cling to the glass it's gonna spread in the soil and next year when there are pathogens bacteria funguses or viruses that are specific to the plants you're growing they're gonna get released and they're gonna spread like wildfire it's not like I'm against it or so because I'm not but there's absolutely no benefit except for one and that only one reason is when the plant didn't reach its full potential then it's maybe uh, beneficial to overwinter it or winterize it and keeping them dormant for a couple of months spring or summer starts again putting them outside and getting a couple more peppers out of it but normally when you start early from seed and you just grow a couple of plants the old-fashioned way they probably will do exactly the same than a plant that has wintered or overwintered or winterized for a couple of months but when you grow plants the old-fashioned way with uh, working with seeds germinating them putting them in the soil uh, growing them up for a couple of months and getting peppers it's actually way more beneficial doing it the old-fashioned way and people assume because one plant is older than the other plant that the older plant will produce more peppers but this is actually not true uh, pepper plants will reach a certain height before they start producing but they only produce that much fruit they will not go over it and there's a reason for it it's called nature <laughs> sunlight rain wind that's gonna limit the amount of fruits that a pepper plant will produce so that's reaching their maximum potential and getting the maximum amount of fruit from a plant they're gonna do exactly the same when they start from seed as they start winterizing a plant and doing the same plant next year the second thing is genetics um, when you winterize a plant you stay with the same genetics there's nothing wrong with it but with peppers and tomatoes you want to go the generation forward and not staying in the old generation it's not cannabis it's a pepper plant it's a completely different way of growing stabilizing a plant is very important especially when you get your seeds from a company that maybe has the seeds for a couple of years and they're already a couple of generations forward but when you get the seeds you still need to start over the seeds have to germinate they have to sprout huh? they have to grow but your environment has bugs huh? insects funguses and bacteria the conditions like the weather may not be the optimal for a certain type of plant 
but throughout the generations you're growing it's going to get stabilized it's going to get better and it's going to perform better in your environment so staying in the old generation because you want to winterize it and keeping it for a couple of years may not be the best option the recovery from an old plant uh, when you prune it down and taking all the leaves and branches away so it's going to winterize like it's traditionally done it's going to take about four to six months before it starts producing any leaves and fruits because it needs to produce new branches new leaves it's going to take a long time in the same period when you start from seed huh, just again the old-fashioned way it takes about four to six months uh, four months until the plant is big enough to produce fruits so it's a little bit faster producing fruits but also it takes about six months in total to reach its full potential when you do it right and both plants will not grow bigger than the other one because again nature especially in an area where there's a lot of rain and wind it's not going to get any bigger maybe indoors it's a little bit different especially in a greenhouse because plants get very big indoors but outside outdoors there is no benefit the next thing by the way is fertilizers uh, a lot of people use a very expensive fertilizer to get the maximum performance out of a pepper plant and that's how it should however when you're feeding a plant in the winter period yeah how efficient is it you're giving it water which doesn't do a lot you cannot give a lot of water you need to fertilize it because otherwise the plants will die or get deficiencies when it starts growing and the soil is completely depleted of fertilizer and you get a lot of problems that way so you're spending a lot of money and time for a plant that doesn't do anything <laughs> So I'm very lucky having a business called nutri Growth Solutions. We create fertilizers that are very specialized. So I'm fortunate I don't have to pay for fertilizers because we create them. But the plants that I grow are for testing purposes. I love to show people how to grow plants. It's one of the things that I enjoy. So I really like growing plants. I have them all over the place. But peppers and tomato plants, I do not winterize. But some people aren't as fortunate as I am. They want to have the pepper species, uh, specialized species, or plants that already are big. But when the plants are done, after eight or nine months, I take them inside, put them on the Facebook group, and tell people, well, do you want a plant? You can get them, because I'm not winterizing those plants. It takes too much time, it takes too much energy, it takes fertilizer and water, the next thing is a lot of people forget when you grow a pepper plant you get a lot of fruits from them and in those fruits there are a lot of seeds so there is no reason for a person to winterize pepper plants except for one when it didn't reach the full potential but then you're doing something wrong and you should switch your technique a little bit or they didn't use the right fertilizer so use the right fertilizer use something like fruit fuel from nutrigo solutions which is specifically designed to get the maximum performance out of pepper plants or tomato plants but yeah there's no need for getting a mess inside and <laughs> getting a lot of problems inside or taking a lot of time growing a pepper plant that doesn't going to do anything for six months 